like for muster for battle, you get a good fan of knives with prep uh, or otherwise, and things tend to snowball. So Dog's decision here to keep the Vile Teacher makes a lot of sense. I think it's one of those cards that you cannot afford throwing out, especially against a possibly slowish deck. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're not seeing uh, the Rogue's Hand when it's the Paladin's turn. I'm gonna have to tell the admins that. Well, we did uh, see it in the Mulligan, so there was like a backstab and... Uh, there was a Violet Teacher, most importantly. Yeah, Because the Violet really Teacher is like really huge, because it does not die to a choose of a champion. It's so tricky to deal with, so... Like, one of the best ways to... For, uh, or like the easiest ways for the... Rogue to win, in my opinion, it's like when you get a good Violet Teacher prep, anything going. That's like really, really good. Well, that's a Blade Flurry. I don't know how you feel about playing it now, but... I mean, I almost like Violet Teacher... Uh, but you, you could do that next turn with Violet Teacher Coin and something else, as opposed to Coin Violet Backstab Trade with your face. It's interesting. I think uh, I think you do... Because you have double Violet Teachers, I think you do uh, play one of them here. And uh, clear one of the one ones with the weapon. Do you backstab? Like that's the question. Because if you do, what you actually effectively do is you're giving yourself enough stuff on the board to deal with more minions than he has at the moment. Because yeah, he think... ends up with one and you end up with two. I don't necessarily think there's a reason to backstab. Like why would you do it? Oh, there's no, there's no necessity. Though. So you can, you can wait for it one turn, because even if, the, if there's a true silver, there will still be one of the dudes up, which is gonna let the ballad into trade. True silver is what you do not, not want to see here. Reynad goes for the equality on the Violet Teacher, and I think what spurred this is, he realizes if there is no board wipe for my 1-1s, I'm getting a clear Quartermaster, but Dog has to read into this. Yeah, I really like that, because he knows that there's no fan of knives, and I know Dog is kind of forced to use the Blade Flurry, or is he? It's a pretty weak one, and Reynad can follow it's, up with a low. Yeah, it's really weak. But the other option is like, I think the like Violet Teacher, but th then you have to backstab now, you have to backstab. Yeah, if you play Violet Teacher on this board, if you don't backstab, you're throwing yourself... Uh, you're throwing the game, essentially. I, I think so, yeah. I mean, but the, the Drake backstab is... Like, the Teacher will still trade for two of the Quarter Mustard... The <laughs> one ones, the Quarter Mustard dudes. Yeah. So it's kind of okay because you can like spell power backstab on the following turn. Seems like he wants to take the flurry here. Yeah, I don't blame him honestly. The thing is, he's gonna need yeah, even need more it. of it because Reyna is just gonna go for the muster number two plus hero power. Wow. I think. Yeah, for sure. It's Seeing that good. now, he knows that there's no fan of knives. So the oh, the wow. only thing that can happen is like second flurry, which is really unlikely. And you are not actually even unhappy with the second flurry, because if yeah. you know that the rogue has no flurries left at all. You are gonna be really like um, free to just spam minions. Mm, let me think. Yeah, you're gonna be using you're, you're gonna be more liberal with dropping stuff on the board once the two flurries are gone. So I would like Reyna here to go for muster hero power. I think uh, it's pretty consistent yeah. with his line of play so far. Definitely, I would be shocked if he did anything else because of what just happened. Like there was no fan, there was only a flurry. Yeah, uses the charge that indicates he's gonna yeah. be dropping that second Light's Justice. It's pretty good. And you know what? I think Dog's gonna smell the Quartermaster and panic because yeah, he knows nothing it's coming. Right now. He has to like top deck it something good. Oh, well, oh. Yeah. that's not bad actually. It's now that I think not about. like the greatest value ever to be backstabbing one once, but in this situation he kind of has to do it. Yeah, you get your own one ones though, which is oh. not horrible. It feels so bad though to be backstabbing dudes. I agree. I mean, Reynad essentially got two backstabs for a single muster for battle, and he's not done yet. He still has some dudes there, so. Yep. But is this now even worth it? Like, you could just load up here. Okay, it's gonna go for that. Uh, I like. I really, really like it. This is yeah. Why the dudes are so dangerous? I think it's fair that you just take it out when you can. He does have the consecration though, so um, maybe he doesn't need to just yet uh, trade for it. Yeah, you could go for the 3-3 three, three on the 1-1 one, one and go face for 3 and let him figure out what he wants to do. Because you've seen a flurry, if he had a second one he would have probably used it instead of double backstabbing. Um, so I, I think Reynad could make the call of just going face with those guys. Yeah, I actually like, more than I think about it, I actually like it a lot. I don't see any point in taking out the 1-1, one, one, really. 
But I could like see arguments made in favor of taking the teacher out or going face. But this kind of frees him to be able to do something something else than the consecration on next turn. Yeah. If, so he, if, he, if he went face, he would have been stuck with the consecration play for sure. Yeah, definitely. It would have been nearly mandatory. But now, the rogue has still some potential to come back. It's just mm -hmm. not over yet. Is no. this a consecration turn or you just attack and then shredder? Okay, well it's gonna be the shredder. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can ask the low tip to follow it up soon. Oh man, Dog is getting those drakes out. Mm-hmm. It's actually pretty helpful for him. Um, SI7 agent, so you sh... You know what I would have liked here? Blood Mage Thalnos. <clears throat> Sorry. You shift for two, then you SI and trade the 1-1 one -one to the Quartermaster, but you, you then get stuck with the Shredder, which is somewhat problematic. Wow. Oh man, this is a crazy thing. Oh. This is almost too good, actually, for Reynad. I really want to see the low tap here. Not sure what the, what trades you want to do, but low tap seems seems pretty good. See what I I'm don't on. even know if I trade. I just go low tap, shield the mini bot, and then you I maybe something. maybe kill the one. one. You don't even have to kill the one one. I mean, it'll die as soon as you do something else. You could just go full face and force your opponent to make the trades at this point. We can see that the... Oh, that's the right trade, yeah. That's, that works out, because there would have been like a Drake into S agent. Dog actually has the perfect turn here, considering the low tip effect. Because he, he can play minions instead of spells, because the spells are not working right now. Well, there's Blood Mage SI Edwin, which is also not horrible. Yeah, that's, that's going to give him a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, he doesn't necessarily need a draw from the Drake just yet. And he knows that uh, the, the, the type of Paladin deck doesn't run many silences, or maybe not even silence at all. There's, a, there's only one or none. So, we know the dog has already used a Blood Mage and one Drake, so he's only got one source of spell damage left for a good Blade Flurry, if anything. So, this, is, this might be the Drake that he's going to keep for that specific purpose. Yeah, this is going so well for Reyna right now. Mm -hmm. Well, dog's drawing an extra card for that Blood Mage. So it's not oh, when he did get a Flurry. I don't know if he wants to do it just yet, but uh, it will, it's definitely a card that he needed to get. Like, it's a card that he needs. Yeah, he can stall with the first, like he Drake draws perhaps. Oh, wait. Wow. But Drake draws, you good. sap to stall a little bit, and you set up an incredible next turn, I think. This, this yeah. is looking pretty okay. Probably sap. Yeah, because I mean, the, the, what he's going to do here to kill your Drake is trade away, maybe shield the mini bot and the 2-5. Which means all you have to do is buff up your weapon, kill the sludge, then you get a sick flurry. The sub is not obvious still because it's pretty scary to mm -hmm. use it here because you know that there might be a Tyrion coming. Tyrion, yeah. yeah. If Tyrion wasn't a thing. That's why you need sabotage back in Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that come back. Alright, well. Wow, oh, just setting it up. <laughs> ouch, ouch. I'm in pain here for. Well, then again, if you equality, you're opening yourself up to the most awful blade flurry of all time. Mm -hmm. This blade flurry is it's like the best blade that he has right now. Involves him getting like really deep with the board, going for like juggler, then defending the. Okay. What's He's gonna it? see where the knife hits. Yeah. What is he gonna oh. defend and trade? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is like this is exactly what I was like thinking about. But yeah, the thing is, a... is that it's so weak. It, it's like the best play possible. But now the flurry is gonna come down. Oh. Yeah, and Ray Reyna loses his entire board. And you know what? That might be exactly wow. what the dog needs. Because he gets a Lothar follow up, which puts him gives him another 5 damage on the board. He's got Eviscerate for 4 to the face. Oh, wow. That puts Reynad on 5 health, which means actually, dog is threatening lethal next turn. Just look at the like, only card left in Reynad's hand is an equality. Okay, so if you're Reynard, do you... <laughs> this, is, this, is oh! you're, this is game! This is game! Sap, Tyrion, and good game! Wow! Like the perfect so, casting. That's like the best throw if you're Reynard, but it's not good enough. Because the Sap... Not this time. Wow. Oh man, this is disgusting. And that preparation just saying, hey, I exist, and Dog says, you know what? You would have been useful about 25 turns ago, but now I don't need you. And he's going to take the first game from Reynard. I'm... 
absolutely astonished by the outcome. I thought the Paladin had this game, but he had to overextend to wow. just seal the game. And that's... <laughs> I hope you guys are showing this on stream, because then I look like I'm laughing at nothing, by the way, okay? Um, you can't just do that. So, Dog takes the first game against Reynad, which, you know, we, we going into this, we knew that Rogue was favored against Paladin. Right, we were aware of that, um, so it's not really. It doesn't come as a surprise. But now that gives Dog the lead in the series. He's got a druid and a warlock left, and Reynad has his own druid, a mage, and a paladin. Knowing the Dog has druid and warlock, what deck, if you're Dog, do you like against the entire lineup of Reynad, druid, mage, paladin? Do you pick warlock or druid? Mm. Maybe I would go with the Warlock here. And I'm pretty sure he's playing the same same demon stuff that Ascara was. Yeah, so, I uh, think uh, Dog got uh, rank 2 Legend, and mm -hmm. um, I asked during the break, you know, why Gara had a deck that I was told was very similar to that of, of Dog, and apparently Gara asked Dog for the deck list, so with, I don't know if Gara tweaked it at all, mm -hmm. or if it was similar, but this might be a, a Hobgoblin Warlock, and since Reynad and Gara are both on the same team, there's yeah. a possibility that Reynad is aware of the type of warlock that Dog is playing right now. I'm not that familiar with the matchups with the, with the Dog's warlock list, so I don't know like what exactly is good and what's bad. And uh, we're gonna see that uh, Dog actually picked a druid here, and Reynad is gonna stick with his paladin. Okay, I, I know the Dog was initially famous for his Ram Druid with Zombie Chows. That was like the first, one of the first few yeah. things that really sprung, uh, that kind of got him out there. It was like that massive legend grind with uh, Ram Druid Zombie Chow. His, it's a class he's very comfortable with, obviously. He's also pretty comfortable with Rogue, although he tends to be fairly impatient. Uh, Reynad sticks to Paladin. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good class anyway. I mean, it, it tends, it could win a game against either of the two decks that uh, the yeah. Dog brought, so... Since you're forced to win with your decks in Conquest, you might as well just start with it. This is kind of a classic matchup. Like we, I've seen a lot of Druid Paladins, and uh, it can go either way. Like the one big thing is like, well, how, do you, how does the Druid spend the swipes? Because there's only two swipes, and like after you, if you don't have a swipe when you, when your um, opponent Paladin goes like Master for Battle, it, it can be horrible. Like if you waste the swipe too early, or if you uh, if you don't get the um, max value out of it. Or if Paladin can bait out the swipe. I, I feel like the swipe is the key card in this game. Yeah, I think I would tend to agree with you. If you don't get it at the right time, it can be really problematic. Um, mm. But, you know, Dog gets the Innervate. Mm -hmm. Just gonna let that be out there. I think Reynad is on the coin, so... Yeah. That gives him an extra card to start with. We didn't. I didn't see the mulligan of Reynad. I think it went by a little too fast. It's okay. Um... I guess there was something bad. Looks like a standard Paladin. I mean, and, and the Druid also, like for now. Hmm. Well, this is a... Uh, I wonder what Dog is considering here. I mean, Keeper of the Grove with Innervate on an early Knife Juggler is pretty sweet. But at the same time, it's also not a mandatory thing. You want to keep one at least for Tyrion in yeah. the late game. I would probably only keep the... Drake. I mean, the keeper might be okay because you can like innovate the keeper on the on the yeah. jug or so. So this, the is, this is okay. Yeah. The problem but, with innovate when you're the first player is that it actually feels like card disadvantage, right? Oh wow! Oh. That's so it's a great pickup. Definitely better than a Drake at this point of the game for sure. Mm -hmm. I guess Paladin is so nice because it cl clears the dudes and also with the hero power and you get oh wow! What a draw from Dog. Welcome to Skillstone, Heroes of RNG Craft. Well, actually, I'm just, uh, I'm just a little curious. Like, Wild Growth is going to allow him to curve Shredder perfectly, so that Innerve is going to be usable on a possible mm. seven draw. If he finds a Watcher at some point, like soon, it's going to be pretty crazy. Wow, uh, looking so good for Dog already. I mean, Ancient Amazing War, not start, Watcher. and like the, even the future turns look so nice. Even though the Drake does die to a True Silver. So that's yeah. not the best five drop right now. He would prefer to have either uh, like a Belter or a Druid of the Claw. Just taunt it up. Yeah, Reyna's decision to coin out True Silver is pretty much... I think it's too obvious not to make as a call. It's it's too good to pass. Okay. He actually picks up the Druid of the Claw here. I don't so know how Dog does it. It's like dog. three top decks in a row right now, or at least... Yeah, oh no, that's right. The Drake wasn't... Uh, 
that usable immediately. But still, it's still a pretty crazy setup because mm -hmm. there is consecration Wait. as true server champion as a possible line of play. But oh my goodness! Wow! No way! I'm tempted to play the Shredder because of the KT. I, I I almost just want to play KT now, but you're really? so open to equality soon. I don't know because the thing is, if you I attack with okay. you attack with Zombie Chow and you're mm -hmm. one six. Um, you kill the 3-3. Three, three. I mean, you could play Shredder instead, though. It's so I sick. You could play the Shredder. Oh, yeah. man. This is disgustingly strong. Oh, my God. You're going to be, like, you know, wasting one mana, but who cares, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. And, like, next turn with the KT, he can respawn the Shredder. He gets the death roll from it. Like, the Shredder trades so well with no matter what Reynard plays here. Yeah, but he can't eight. get tunnel visioned because equality consecration from Reynad is gonna deny Kel'Thuzad completely. That's true. Reynad is not out of it because of that uh, mentioned combo. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I, it might not. Mm. The only mistake is if Reynad goes for the consecration now to kill the druid, but I don't think he'll fall for that. He'll no. just play a shredder. No way. Yeah, I think it's a fairly easy shredder here. Yeah. I I don't I hope Dog doesn't innervate out that Kel'Thuzad because that would really just I I think he might actually lose on the back of that. It looks pretty tempting if you Dog, because like uh, you know that if there's no equality consecration, then you're gonna win the game. But Reynard yeah. does have exactly that, and some paladins have been cutting one equality, so it's like possible that Reynard is only playing one. And if Dog knows that Reynard only plays one, oh, I think it's worth risking. But it's just unfortunate that it's it's there. I think he played two last game, but I'm not I'm not too sure. Oh, he probably did. Yeah, he played one on oh, yeah. the uh, Violet Teacher, I believe, and then one on something else. Okay. So, Rope well, or... Reynad is roping. Is there a problem with the connection here? Did Reynad drop? Oh no. I suspect Reynad might have lost connection. I don't know if Dog is aware of it or. It yeah, seems to be. Probably is. There's a connectivity problem for sure. Now we have to see what Dog ends up doing. Oh, Reynard's back. Himself. He's. Mm. Reynard has hovered over his hero. Um. Okay, well, that was a mistake not playing anything there on turn 5. Do you think he just passed? But I... <laughs> no, I was kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I, was there a tactical value to that play that I just couldn't see? Okay, yeah, never mind. Like, no hero power, nothing. Just, oh, like, joke. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Reyna still has equality context, so he probably doesn't feel out of it, but he's out of it. Is he back now? Yeah, he is. Okay, well, he's forced into using the combo, and his Swiss Armor cha charge, that is. Maybe he was baiting out more value for the equality combo. Like, baiting the DC. That is so deep, Adele is rolling in it. It's like next level. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Alright, so that Mech Warper is going to be pretty much irrelevant. And now Kel'Thuzad is... Oh wow, it stands to give no value at all to Dog at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you can't play it now, because really, what does it accomplish? Not much. I think You're almost like, putting yeah. yourself into like uh, another equalities range. Yeah. And I don't think you can afford that. Well, it's gonna be uh I think that's a pretty obvious like Doctor Boom turn for Reynad because he's on seven mana. Yeah. And then it, Dog has to respond with KT hero power and trade everything into it. Yeah. I mean part of the Shredder Gold Hammer isn't that bad either, but Oh, oh sh there's the Black Knight coming. But uh, it's like if any if you have seven mana and you have a Doctor Boom, just I, I don't think there's any thinking required. But the, the, the reason why he did this play was most likely because he was worried about the combo. Because with the combo yeah. he would have been dead. Yeah, he, like, Force the Nature Savage Roar would have killed him outright. Uh-huh, yeah. So that's why he wanted to taunt up, I think. Well, Dog's gonna be losing that Drake. He probably wanted to keep it for the Kel'Thuzad, but... Unfortunately, Reynad is probably gonna finish it off with Coghammer. Yeah. And fortunately for Reynard, there's no, um, no combo inside just yet. Not even there's, a, there's another line of play with uh, Shielded Minibot, Hero Power, Defend of Argus, which I don't dislike because it's a bit safer if you're expecting combo, and that would be really consistent with the line of play that he's taken so far. Oh he yeah, because he was so defensive on the previous turn too. Oh, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Yeah, knowing uh, 
It's really of scary mind. if you rain out here. I actually think that he's gonna go with that. Like we can see that the dog is actually not threatening very much with his hand. So it probably would work out better to just play the Dr. Boom. But I can't really fault Reynard for doing this play because there's so much damage coming in. It's too easy to lose a game because you didn't taunt up when you could have against Druid, so mm -hmm. I don't blame him at all. Oh wow, it wrong. might have actually been wait, it would he would have been three off. Yeah. It would have been really low. Um I almost like Sylvanas better here, but like you ping the shield off, then you attack with the Black Knight. It's pretty close. Yeah. That actually lets you play Kel'Thuzad and Innervate Savage Aura. Mm. Does it? Yeah, it does next turn. If you feel like it. That combo. Kitty Savage Aura. It kind of works, because you can trade your existing minions better, and then they will respawn. <laughs> Did you disconnect? I hope not. You know what, this is actually really cool because Dog is a very, very impatient player. At least he's known for being impatient. He he just plays his turns, mm -hmm. you know, in one second and a half because he sees them a bit too fast, but sometimes he ends up misplaying because of that, so it's nice to see him yeah. take his time here. I watch his stream every now and then and that's what happens. He described it pretty well pretty well. Yeah, he's actually, just like yeah. we're gonna do this and then he loses the game. I really like his style though, to say he he doesn't like burn that much rope. Yeah, I say we should. Uh, oh wait, is he lagging? He might be. Yeah, those Chinese connections. Okay, so they're in China right now, which would explain. Yes. You know what? That's kind of a, a fair trade, if you will. One turn skipped for one turn skipped. Yeah, a bit unfortunate still. This might have been the turn that wins the game too, and Rain has going to capitalize on that by dropping Monster for Battle. And this is probably an unrecoverable position for a Druid. I mean, there's no way for you to handle those three threes. Swipe is fine, but when they, they're already three threes, it's way too late. Mm -hmm. Well, Rain well, there's no lethal looming on, is there? Like two, five... Actually, I think... Oh, oh. baby. Is Wait. There Okay, wait, Rick Force the Nature Savage Roar, inner very hero power, you kill a 4 4, that's 7. Yes, that's you have enough. lethal. Oh my god! That hero wow. power is so clutch. We'll never see that Kel'Thuzad drop. If he disconnects now, it, that's gonna be sad. <laughs> wow. He's gonna have lethal on board, but he just won't get to use it. He, he has going to use it. Well, it doesn't really matter ultimately, he was still had the, the kill. He's just maximizing yeah, his damage output. Creep. Well, Dog is gonna go 2-0 against Reynad. I'm still thinking about that turn where Reynad disconnected, um, which would have really mattered. You know, playing that Shredder down against... Yeah. Like, I, I kind of want to say that this game is um, a bit invalidated by those specific turns, but mm -hmm. both players did lose a turn, so it feels... It's like, like Reynad might... I mean, Dog might have been tempted to innervate there. Got baited to, to play, play the KT there. Waste yeah. the scenery right in a way. So it would have been a completely different game. A completely but, uh, different game, just based on that specific turn, for sure. Oh well, nothing we can do, do about that. Chinese connections are what they are, so... Yep, so that's gonna be 2-0 for Dog, which leaves him with only one deck. Uh, and it's gonna be the uh, Warlock deck that we probably have seen from Gara, and I think Reynad is gonna be expecting it. But the thing is that Reynad now needs to win three games in a row. Wow. With his uh, his entire lineup against uh, Dog's Warlock, and when you account for variants, it's pretty it's pretty easy for the Warlock to take a game that otherwise might be unfavored. Mm -hmm. So even though he might not have like the best of matchups against one or two decks of Reynads, maybe he'll be able to take the third one. Okay, so I'm mean, gonna say Dog obviously in the Warlock, but Reynad will once again play Paladin. All right, so that's really? uh, yeah. Strike he did that last week. <laughs> You see Striker root that in Conquest where he like starts with Paladin, loses with it, Paladin, loses with it, Paladin. They're like I've seen that so many times. Now Reynard is going for that same like Paladin, Paladin, Paladin. Third well, time is the charm. Maybe it is. Expect, maybe it's not. Uh, if you expect kind of the same deck as Gara, which if he's got any information about Dog's deck, is probably going to be from Gara since um, Gara mm -hmm. did ask Dog the deck list and played it today. That means. I think Paladin in that specific matchup has a pretty good edge, I will be honest with you. Okay. Uh, because it's got that handlockish style to it, 
And Paladin has a pretty okay matchup against, you know, Handlock in general, being able to wipe stuff as long as they get that decent early game. And now the Children Minibot and Muster for Battle yeah. are a thing. They That's can a come decent to that early game, I would say. Uh, yeah, actually, it is pretty crazy. And the BGH in Raynat's hand is going to dominate if a giant comes out. It's a really sweet hand from Raynat here. But then again, I can't say the dog's hand is bad either, to be honest. No, it's, it's a not pretty all. crazy hand as well. Both of these players with great hands at this stage of the game. Yep. Just the way I like it. Like, both players not whiffing on the choice. It's so boring when, like, one player gets completely like, just shut down and the na game never gets played. That's what I lo love about Hearthstone. It just happens like, way less often than in Magic the Gathering or so. Yeah, you have no lands and then the game is lost yeah. because you got lands screwed. Yep, you get like either too many or too few and it's like one third of the games are never even really played because of that. Because one, it's just not fair. Yeah, uh, the many too many games in Magic happen like this, but it's still a very played game. Yep. So I guess it's got to be doing something right. Yeah, it's an awesome game. <clears throat> so we see, I, I, I think Choose Our Champion makes more sense than a boring equality here. I guess Defender could also work, but you trade so much stuff away into that Drake. And you mm -hmm. risk getting sh yeah. like Hellfired into Oblivion. The Hellfire value, if he doesn't trade, is just off the... Like, Drake, it's so crazy. So if he plays the Defender, do you... Maybe he trades partially or so. Like, trades just something, I don't know. I kinda puts like it on the three health, it. and then... Yeah, puts it on three health to make sure that Hellfire at least trades with the Drake. But why would you feed a defender of Argus into it? Given Seeing that the cards actually like defender of Argus and go face with everything would be correct, but uh, <laughs> there's no way you can make that call. From Reyna's perspective, I don't think that's a viable approach. I still no, prefer the Super Champion, but we'll see what he ends up doing. And he does not do that. In fact, he actually does it partially, he though. Is. He sets up, as I said, the Hellfire, where if it does get played, mm -hmm. it will kill the Drake. But. There's it's no like really weird, inside. but I think it was okay. Like, it wasn't bad anyhow, but it's just, <laughs> I didn't even consider such play. Well, that was the play that we talked about for the Hellfire. Uh, the, you can actually afford playing the Defender, yeah. but you're not losing too much on Hellfire. Good. What to do? Well, I mean, I guess you you could play Echoing Ooze. Nah, there's no way. Not in that deck. Not with Hobgoblin around the corner, but... I like Sun Fury Protector, honestly. You just attack into that 2 2, then play Sun Fury to contest the 2 2 and the 2 3, but. Yeah. yeah. Seems alright. I don't think he needs to save up the Sun Fury. It's his only Don't give it for now, but we know that he plays a bunch if it's the Gara deck. so Or actually, Dog's deck, but the Gara played also. Yep. We're gonna be able to see. I, I Actually, I think the follow ups from Dog are pretty strong. Uh, his late game and mid game are looking pretty terrible. Like, uh, I mean, horrific here for him. I mean, that Tutu's dead to the Sun Fury. Ooh. Oh, hello. That that's a nice draw right now. It's gonna get then again, though, but it looks sweet if you dog. Do you try out Lothab here instead to make sure that nothing can go wrong with it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He goes for Lothab. That's fair. It's, the, it's a safe play, and I think yeah, it works out better. I mean, it's, it does the true silver, so it's not perfect either. But it's less risky than uh, it would have been with the, with the giant. And also, he can next turn, he can go tap into the giant, so... It's like uh, more efficient with the card throws. I keep thinking about that, I'm not... I'm not even, if you didn't play it this turn, I'm not sure you, you actually want to do it, but at the same time, you can't afford holding that giant forever. Mm -hmm. We see the Shadow Flame come out. But... Yeah, now he picked up an AoE, so he's, he shouldn't be too worried about Pick and Hunter because he knows that he can still clear. Oh man, it's so tempting for uh, for Dog to Shadow Flame to his Pick game here. But it's not gonna work out because there's Dr. Boom coming next. Then. Yeah, Dr. Boom is gonna punish that heavily. I think you could play. He might even like. Iron oh, Cal. Actually, I actually that. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. I think Iron B. Cal clears most of the stuff away. And then yeah. you can even void walker on the back of it. In this specific yeah. case, it works out. But that's definitely correct. I didn't see the owl. I didn't see the owl. Though, so that's why. I, yeah. Well, uh, this could still go super wrong for dog. Wait. 
Oh Not my goodness. Quite lethal yet. Can't well, attack with both of them. I, I like, I almost like Tyrion. As a, like, you drop it, you trade that 4 1 away, and then the opponent deal does what to you? Yeah, I, I really I think the Tyrion is the way to go, because you just saw an owl happen, and it's, it would be weird, at least I think it would be weird, if that type of demon luck would run two owls. So yeah, it doesn't have really room. safe to drop that now, with the owl just being played. There's no real answer to that now. Ooh, I can't help but feel like that's a bit awkward. Well, he's gonna try to set up a nice Malganus, is my guess, at the very least. Because he's not dead now, we know that for a fact. But the thing is that Dr. Boom coming down is gonna be a yeah. huge threat to his to life total at this point. It's gonna be Boom for sure. Yeah, luckily for him though, um, Dr. Boom hitting the board... I mean, if Malganus comes down and Reynad goes face, the Succubus or the Mistress of Pain is actually buffed yeah. up to 3 attack. But This is a big game on this game. It's not over just yet. Well, BGH and Echoing U Sun Fury is going to set up a nice t line of defense against uh, mm. against those guys. Oh. Pew pew. Oh. Oh, I actually really like Big Game Hunter Void Caller. Sun and Sun Fury, right? Yeah. Yeah, with that pickup. Oh, oh, this is actually really insane. This is an insane board. Because if he does end up killing the Void Caller, which he will. Mm hmm. There's gonna be an equality on the Malaganis. There's what? no way there's not. It ha there has to be one. Yeah. That was so like the most telegraphed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. No, no, you have to trade the 1-1 one -one into Malaganis first. Then you trade the bomb away. Alright. Wow. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. The biggest whiff of all time. <laughs> 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 I didn't know it can happen, because I think that when... Well, I guess, but why not? Because it's random, it's not a targeted effect, so it can happen. But if it were targeted, then oh. it, it couldn't possibly occur, so... That's all I did see there. They were lucky. So Doug is gonna play the Anoyotron, and you know what? If he finds Hobgoblin, this could actually... Again, oh, then again, there is muster for battle with Quarter Master. This is... Probably, I mean, you attack an Oyotron with a 1 1, kill it with a 5 1, then you must record a master and be done with it. Mm. Very powerful turn from. Wait, what? Why not kill the Oyotron with your weapon? I guess he doesn't want to damage his sludge into yeah, Hellfire range. Okay. Out, like a, from, uh, from Hellfire range, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's not like his health matters much at this point, so. Wait. I actually like not, ma go not uh, playing the. Quartermaster here, because he can't really kill those one ones, so he's like, it's the same having them at one as having them at three, in a way. Because, like, they still die to Hellfire. Yeah, they're not vulnerable, I get, I get what you mean. And they're still gonna be able to deal damage right now. And you, you essentially got yourself more damage output for next turn, I guess. Yep. But. Um, this is game with equality, I believe. Yeah, he actually doesn't even need that. Just never need it. Uses the weapon and like uh, uses the two oh, weapon buffs, and yeah, like no. sludge or whatever. Right. Okay. You just get uh, a total of nine damage, yep. the twelve damage from the board, which is exact lethal for Raynat against Dog's Warlock. So that's nice. That's a good matchup for Paladin. I have to be honest with you. This is probably one of the weakest matchups for the uh, specific Warlock. Yeah, it looks really uh, good for the Paladin. I do know that from playing Paladin that. Paladin does really well against Handlock as well. I have a really good score with my Pala against Handlock, so... It, ha it seems to have a, have a lot of the same weaknesses as, the, as uh, Handlock does. Yeah. So that's it. that was pretty good. So, I mean, he's gonna have to stick with Paladin again. He's gonna have to 3-0 the entire lineup mm -hmm. of Dog at this point, so no. that's one tech down. Uh, no, no, no. He doesn't stick with Paladin. He sticks with, uh, with uh, Warlock, right? Because so Warlock lost. Right, best. Warlock. Ha sorry, Warlock has to, to. Oh yeah, you're right. Never mind. Warlock has to stick on the board, and Reyna's gonna swap. So sometimes I get those brain farts about conquest. They're just like last hero standing, just kicks in out of habit. Yeah, um, but so it's gonna be thing. Druid and Mage versus that Warlock. I want to say that Mage is not a good pick. But he didn't but... pick it. We're gonna see it next game. Maybe it's a uh, freeze mage. But how yeah. good would Druid be? I think Druid would would be even worse, though. That's the thing. Maybe. Ma yeah. Mage is not amazing, but 
So it's like choose your poison. Like. Yeah, and at this point, it's really like all about the tiebreakers because you at least want to make sure that if, mm -hmm. in case you do lose the game, you pick the one that you think has the best matchup. So Reynad goes for Mage, which means he thinks if he ends up losing the game, um, the entire series that is, it's at least going to be a 3 2 as opposed to a 3 1. Oh, yeah. So, well, I, I would imagine that it's going to be a Mech Mage because Reynad has played a lot of that in the past. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's just a cool twist. Kirindor. I like that a lot, actually, but it seems to indicate to me... Uh, actually, I, I, I remember Mech Mage from Reynad with Blink Troll and Water Elemental, but Kirintor Mage is pretty novel there, as far as I'm aware. Oh, oh man, that's, Dog's that's Hand. Weird. And he needs to pick up a 2 drop, and a 3, and a 4. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna say, Kirintor Mage kind of indicates Counterspell for me, but I'm not... Uh, I'm not sure what type of like, exact list Reynad is running. If he doesn't show a three, uh, this game almost looks over already. <laughs> well, maybe not just yet. It's a little say. Do you mean about the uh, Twilight Drakes and everything coming out perfectly? Yeah, it looks pretty good for the Warlock in my mind right now. Yeah, no, I agree with you. And that Molten is just going to seal it even further, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Another counter. Whoa, you don't want to throw those into your hand. Well, you don't want them, but at the same time, two counter spells and a deck. I just want to pause on that for a second. Mm -hmm. How? I, I haven't seen much. I mean, a one of okay. I've seen a lot of, but does that mean he's running two Karen Tours and two Mad Scientists for the Emir entities and the counter spells? Probably, yeah. I would, that's, I would think so. If there's that many secrets, that's a huge investment. I mean, it's basically. You going all in on secrets, which means you, the odds of having a pretty terrible starting hand get much higher than Mech Mage. That's true. It's a bit of like, a, from my experience, that type of uh, plan is uh, it's really powerful when it works out. Like when you win all of those, uh, when you get the right amount of secrets, like you don't draw too many to your hand, you just draw just enough for the for the Kirindor and stuff. It's like one of the most amazing things ever. But when you don't get it. Oh, yeah, man. it's really punishing. But then again, Reynad has a total of 12 damage just on board, and that doesn't account for... Oh, actually, he's going to have even more than that with wow. the Anonymous one. Well, this is a, it, I think Reynad might be able to take this game very easily and convincingly, in fact. Maybe I was calling it too early, yeah. Yeah, like, this is... Uh, whoa. <laughs> that was that quick. That, well, that, uh, that, that two-man mech just... Even with those useless counter spells. Wow! wow. Just no taunts from a uh, dog, and that was that. Double like, you needed kill. those taunts. That was the quickest game. Okay. I think I've casted all tournament. I mean, even the face hunter game took longer. It got to turn eight at the very least. I feel that so was because I was like, yeah, there's no way Reynard can win, and then it's like, okay, turn six, fireball to face, GG. Like it yeah, looks that's... so good, like with the, so so many strong minions on dog side, but he just couldn't get taunts up in time. That was like, yeah over way too quick. If there was a Molten on the board, like if his health had been wow. at 10 earlier, a Molten Taunt would have been, you know, more than enough. But yeah. as it is, it's not. And Reynad is threatening the reverse sweep on Dog right now, going 2-0 to, to a possible 3-2-4 Reynad. So it's going to be Druid versus the mid-range Warlock with Hobgoblin that Dog is running, that Reynad is probably yeah. familiar with, having seen maybe Gara played a little bit, so... I really wow. wonder, though. Okay. Well, Although it's kind of like Quarter Master. You know how Quarter Master, when Muster Quarter Master hits as a Druid, you have no way to handle it? When mm -hmm. Hobgoblin hits with one attack minions, you can't handle it. It's the same exact issue. I'm still waiting to see some of those the, like Hobgoblin action. Like, we've only seen it drawn a couple of times, but it actually hasn't done anything in the games. Yeah, we they've been in the hands about twice, but we haven't seen them do like anything at all. Maybe this time, please, dog. Do something amazing with the hop coupling. I want to see like slimes and annoyers and everything get buffed. Please. I mean, no. that'd be nice. Annoyers just as imagine annoyers as three fours for three mana. <laughs> with their ability, that would be the craziest thing. Uh huh. Um, well, I, yeah, Reyna's druid hand is as good as it's gonna get against this mid range warlock. I can tell you that much. Well, yeah. It is never gonna get better. Pretty interesting. It's the god draw. Wild Rose would make it better. <laughs> That's a really good start. I mean, you get the shade out before it dies to Hellfire, right? Or can you? Is it too late already? 
If you go into the now, it's gonna be. Huh. Okay. Yeah, Shredder allows you to deal with uh, Void Walkers, Mistresses of Pain that you've seen already. So I like that line of play from Reynard. It's pretty the straightforward. The Hellfire is gonna be but... so good. It's gonna be just amazing. Like it's gonna be even better if he plays the Shade here. I don't think he can. Uh oh. Well, Reynard fell right into that one. But he maintains a lot of pressure, and honestly, his follow up on turn five is still pretty sick. So that's Th true. If this is not a Doomsayer. If this is not a Doomsayer, oh, that's a good card for Reyna. The wow. card draw is amazing. Definitely, he needed that extra card draw. You don't want to see Lower Walker draw there. Well, Jules okay. the Cloth falls down. Aggressive, Jules the Really Cloth. aggressive, wow. Yeah, he learned from his last game as Mech Mage. He's like, if I can just punch him in the face fast enough, does it work? <laughs> Uh, wait, that is near lethal. Not quite, mind you, but pretty close. Exactly, this deck would it be very close. 10. Uh, yeah, I like Lothar. Attack and then get an extra 2, and then if you find your Savage Roar, this board is. Well, Anti Kill Bot is gonna buy a lot of. Time. Oh, what a draw with the slime! Do you prefer the Heal Bot, or do you like Slime Taunt? Slime uh, Defender, for sure. I think it's like by far to play. Because you can play the six heal, damage, you... You're right, it, it tanks 6 damage and you can yeah. protect against so the, the combo, so. Wow, I actually think that's pretty amazing. Hey, is there anything else? Like, that was just uh, like my, my first instinct. Could he just Twilight Drake and Anno Edson? Would that keep him alive? That's pretty good too. He could save up the slime thingy for next turn. Uh, Okay. Yeah, be because it does tank enough hits that this doesn't yeah. become a problem. But if there is a savage roar, if Dog had been on, if Reynard had been on, wow. one, one more mana would have just sealed the game. One more mana would have sealed it. Actually, wait, you can go Force of Nature, trade, trade into the Anoetron, go phase four. You can put him down to four. Yeah, but then you're dead if he heals up. So yeah, maybe you don't. Do that. Up, really. I like Keeper of the Grove Silence, and then you just go full phase with everything. I think this is probably. Yes, or you silence the Drake and then attack, and then. But the thing is, you you want to get the damage in ASAP now. You're, yeah, you're on the break. Really to, like, he doesn't have the follow up come once the taunts come come up. Come rolling but, uh, in. I do feel like with this hand, this has to be the play. Yep, and I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And he's probably gonna go for it. You want to seize that opportunity, and the wild growth is setting up a really a sooner um, force of nature, but it's also enabling the molten oh. giants from. Uh, from Dog. Okay, well... I think he would have been strict pretty bad if he went for the Defender on the previous turn, like I was suggesting first. Because like, he needed to save up the Taunt. really feel like he needed to save it. Oh, wow. Well. This actually gives Reynard an opening. Because if well, Reynard gets a... Gets a innovate. Innovate up there. Yeah, yeah so the like, Innovate is it. the opening. He has to get it. He's gonna lose the game otherwise. There's no way he can clear all of this stuff, like, and there's more taunts and everything. He needs an inner mate right here. There's only one left. Oh, no. Well, swipe so, wipes the board almost. Almost, yeah. So it's not a bad draw. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just, um, there's no gas in his hand. Yeah, how do you how do you actually get those trees to pass through is the problem. You know yeah. if he taunts up, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Like, you, you're looking at lethal next turn if the opponent just, whoa. Oh, well that works too, never mind. I'm an idiot. Works. It works more than well. I'm, I'm just... I panic for no reason. <laughs> I do that a lot. It's like, why is he doing this? And then... Process the info. Well, that's gonna be a little messy here. You know what? If a Doomsayer comes out of that thing, I think uh, <laughs> Reynard actually wins the game. It never happens. It only happens like Troll and Clips. There's like 20 million players and only one gets that, so. I know. Well, that's gonna be a pretty uh, pretty easy recovery for Dog from now on, I think. Wow, what a wall. There's almost nothing that Reynard can really do, I guess. Back-to-back -back combo, perhaps? Even more cons. Yeah, back-to-back -back combo is the only thing I can really see helping me out here. He gets yeah. another force and then another war. There's really like no, uh, like the Druid AoE is so weak, he can't really clear all this stuff. 
Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. You know, if that Hobgoblin comes out with Void Walkers and uh, Echoing Oozes, they're too big to actually get out of the way. Even though I'm like really excited to watch this deck, I'm so disappointed that once again the Hobgoblin does not do anything. I don't know if they're only running one, but they Could haven't be. really shown up much. But I think Reyna is going to attempt. Uh, he's going to attempt the fate here, try to get himself that second combo in case Dog doesn't get any more taunts, but we know yeah. it's not realistic at all. Wah, wah. So much more stats on the board. This is going to be good game here. The, these taunts are just going to block Reynad's... Uh, There's no way he's getting here. through. Yep. And he just taunts up Void of Caller. <laughs> I don't know why. He doesn't even have a demon in his hand. This is like trolling or something. He might be. It doesn't really matter at this point. Reyna is running a Sun Fury, actually. Oh, that's so good here. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> you play Shade and Sun Fury. Oh wait, it's stealthed. How nice does it, combo, does it yeah. break the game? 